129. That's not too shabby. No. Lori, uh -oh. did he get there? Uh -oh. He got tangled up around the bag and getting up as he went in, immediately looking back and asking for time. Well, I didn't like that slide right there. He hooked his left ankle. Let's watch it one more time. It's an aggressive slide. Right there. Oh, oh. In the knee. Knee and ankle, both. Got it caught. Yeah, he's got such flexibility with those legs. He's breeze all night. And taking advantage of the breeze, a drive to deep right field over the head of the right fielder, Harper, who's banged up and is lying on the ground out there as Ellis goes into third and hold everything. That wind was blowing the ball to right, and Harper kept going back, and he hit the scoreboard. And you can see cut is far. I believe that's a cut. So the young 20-year-old, a potential superstar, trying to go back with his team leading six to nothing. We're going to clean off a little dirt on that cut. Or maybe it's not a cut at all, just dirt. I hope. So that wind that has been a favorable breeze to the people in the pavilion just kept on blowing that ball. And so Harper kept going back. Is that blood on his neck, I think? I think maybe the is he wearing a chain. I think the chain cut his neck but they're asking him the usual questions. Where are we etc. So Espinosa and LaRoche out there talking to him has convinced everybody that he wants to stay in. And let's see if he starts walking off and now he is walking off. So Harper crashing into the wall in right field. I think that chain around his neck is what cut him. Dexter Fowler on deck and then Corey Dickerson for Colorado as Blackman trying to bunt his way on and the home plate umpire got struck. Manny Gonzalez had that ball go under his mask. And I think into his throat. And that really has shaken him up. Fouled back by Blackman straight down on behind the plate and it did. Oh, Boy. oh that's just and kind of stuck there. Sandoval gets hit on the swing and he is out. So he got hit with the pitch but he was swinging at it and got him on the back of the hand or wrist tough to tell but he strikes out and Sandoval in some pain. So that will end the inning as that is the seventh strikeout for sale. It is two to one. White Sox have the lead at the end of four. I hit him right on the forearm as he did swing and complete that swing. So it is a strikeout. The one one. Checked his swing. Hurry. Santana fires it home. They got him. That was your only play. That was Jones might play. be hurt. Well, he, that's what you do as a base runner. You try and take that foot off the plate as a catcher. And he's fast enough. It wasn't hit that hard. He did a good job. He did his job. It was not a dirty play. But that, I don't know if it twisted the knee of Jan Gomes or not. But he felt something there. He's taking a deep breath. That's the play as a base runner. You come in to take the foot off the plate as a catcher. And Santana got rid of it quickly. No other choice. It wasn't hit that hard. He got rid of it as quickly as possible. And you can see he caught that back part of the heel of Gomes. It knocked his foot out. Maybe this will give us a better look at it. So yeah. I don't know if it hyper extended his knee. Oh, Stockis is hit.
That looks a lot better than about 10 seconds ago when he was motionless on the ground, but just popping up to his feet and Nick Kenny walking with him all the way to first. And I think Mike Moustakas maybe out of pure will wants to stay in the game. The problem his shoulders. Might have caught some of his chin. Gosh. Oh my. He's on four hits and then Roberts home run on the fifth. Off the end of the bat, pool shot. Can anybody get the first? Machado's gonna beat everybody. Beckham went over to get it, but Chano fell down. Did he turn to second? They're going to tag him, but he's hurt. He is out. But more importantly, he's hanging on to the knee. Oh, my gosh. No, that's not good. Certainly some confusion over there. Another look at what happened there. Pulled up a little bit, caught the corner of the bag, and his knee gave way to the inside. Oh, it just buckled in there. Hmm. Here to finish out this last week with the Orioles still in it. Chance. And he out there every day for the Orioles at third base. One ball, one strike to Cozart. And he chops that one toward the hole. Backhanded by Hernandez. Long throw in time. And Cozart hit the bag. Wrong. I think he did hit the bag wrong. And man, oh man, he's holding that knee. I thought maybe he tripped over Ryan Howard's foot, but Ryan's foot was not in the in the way there. No, when he launched for first base, his his right foot landed on the right side of the of the uh, first base, and that's what caused the twist of the knee and fall. Well, the Reds are already without Brandon Phillips, who has a groin injury, and Billy Hamilton, who has a hand injury. Watch it again. Right there, he lunges and he hits the corner. Oh, and he slips, slips, and then his ankle rolls. Slipped right off the back of the bag. That's incredible. And Castillo drives one to left field. That's a base hit. Marte comes up throwing. Castro around third. Here's the play at the plate. And safe is the call. Great jump at first. No chance for Perez. And Reyes may have hurt himself. Boy, he took a late slide into that bag, and he hit that bag hard, and he hurt that left ankle. Watch Reyes. He's going to take a quick peek as he's not real sure where that throw's coming. See, he was in between. Should I slide or should I stand up? And it was very late. A lot of times your spikes will catch and roll it. And it watch that back leg. See how the spikes catch right into the dirt and he rolls that ankle. Richards may have gotten hurt. Uh oh. Scary sight to say the least with Garrett, the uh, season that he has had this year. He's going that straight path towards the base. And there is his cleat got caught, his knee bent as he got towards the base. 
Again, he's trying to find the base, trying to be able to pick up the throw potentially from Eric Ibar. And the one two. Popped up into right center field. Long run for. Oh, and a collision out there between Robertson and Rios as Rios slid. And the throw comes back into second, and Robertson is down. Looked like Daniel Robertson took a sliding knee from Alex Rios as he went to the ground, right to the neck or shoulder. And Robertson moving, but uh, still laying prone on the sod out there. Squinting, and it might have gotten the knee in the, in the mouth. Rangers uh, Rangers teammates out there around Daniel Robertson Ron Washington jogging out there so again a nice round of applause for Daniel Robertson One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah!